What's going on you guys, it's your man James aka JP back again with another Toy Room Haul video. So we are currently having new windows installed in the house so I am in the process like right now in the middle of the process of starting to tear this room apart. I have to get stuff off the wall so they can access the windows and then I got to cover everything up in this room because this room is going to get covered in dust. That's going to be my next video kind of showing the process of me tearing apart this room and everything which really breaks my heart and I'm not looking forward to doing but it is what it is. Is, I gotta do what I gotta do but I realized I have so much stuff that I've picked up recently in the last like month that I've been meaning to get around to reviewing and I just haven't had time and now with the whole window situation happening uh, I, I don't have time to review this stuff and I need to get everything out of the way and, and cover it up and everything like that so I say that to say um, some of the stuff that I've picked up is kind of old at this point I was planning to do reviews on it but I may not do that anymore now that they are a little old, so if there's anything specific that you do want to see a closer look at or a review or anything like that that I show off in this video, definitely let me know uh, because if I don't really get any interest about it, then I'm just going to open them up without doing a review and putting them on the shelves because like I said, some of this stuff is a little old. And uh, with that out of the way, I think that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get into my latest haul. Now this is all stuff I picked up, I would say over the last month, maybe even month and a half, I don't even know. I'm just, I have stuff surrounding me all over the place, so I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff and showing them off. Uh, so first up we have here is the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lunar Wolf uh, Ranger from Wild Force. I This is probably my most recent pickup, if we can show it off without the glare. But yeah, I'm very, very excited to finally uh, get him in the collection. Um, definitely looking forward to adding him on the shelf and it's always a good day whenever I get some more uh, Power Ranger figures. And then keeping with the theme of Power Ranger figures we have the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the Ninjetti figures uh, from the movie. We have obviously the Black Ranger right here. Uh, we already have the pink and white Rangers up on the shelf Tommy and Kimberly. Now we have Adam over here and uh, looking very nice and I obviously have the red and yellow rangers pre-ordered and we also have billy over here so just waiting for those to come in to complete the set but there you go i know there is a little bit of a glare with the lights and everything but yeah very excited to have these two cannot wait to get them on the shelves the head sculpts look incredible on these guys as we can kind of see right there I, I know there's a little bit of a shadow but yeah everything that that hasbro's done so far with this lightning collection i'm a really big fan of uh, so moving on from that, we have uh, two video games that I thrifted. So we have Epic Mickey on the Nintendo Wii. Uh, I got this one for two bucks at the thrift store. Can't beat that. And um, I have Epic Mickey 2 already, so I needed Epic Mickey 1 to complete that collection. And then we have Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes for the Xbox 360. Haven't played this game before, but for $2.99, I wasn't going to pass that up. So that's it as far as video games, I think. I don't know if I showed off Halo Infinite that I picked up at some point in time. I might have showed this off in a previous video, but that's also another game that I've recently picked up. Another thrift store find was this awesome uh, Tommy Pickles from the Rugrats, like little plush doll. It's like kind of plush on the bottom, but on the top he's like hard plastic. I believe this was from Rugrats Go Wild or Gone Wild, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, he was only, $3.99, I saw him, I definitely had to have him. What I'm gonna do with him, I have no idea, because he's honestly pretty massive, as you can see right here. So I'll throw him on a shelf somewhere at some point, but yeah, I've got this pretty awesome Tommy Pickles. I mean, he's in pretty good condition too, not really dirty or anything like that. So um, yeah, Tommy Pickles. Then we have some Funko Pops, of course. Uh, so we have the Jurassic uh, Park Gates right here with John Hammond. I didn't care about getting the John Hammond uh, Pop. I really just wanted it for the Gates to add to my um, Jurassic Park shelf over there. So yeah, I picked this up from Target. And then I also picked this up off of eBay and this is a comic book with a pin and some cards. Now, this is from Universal Studios um, and Islands of Adventure. So when Islands of Adventure first opened up back in 99 or 2000, they did this promotional comic with the Marvel Superhero Island side of the park and I got it sealed brand new for like 50 bucks, which was a decent price. On uh, eBay, you can see the cards right there, as well as the pin over here. But I just love this artwork, and I'm a huge theme park fan, so having this little like piece of theme park history in my collection, I am very, very happy about that. 
Uh, moving on, this was a random thing that I found at work the other day while I was working at Target. Uh, was I saw this little keychain right here, and it said Mattel. If we can get my face out of the frame. There we go. So you can see it says Mattel, and then I saw this, and it's just like a little blade, a little pocket knife type of thing right there. So this must have been from a Mattel vendor that just left it on the shelf by accident. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't think you're going to see anyone else really with this in their collection. So yeah, happy to, to add little weird trinkets to my collection. Speaking of weird trinkets, if you guys know me, you know I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. And you know that the DeLorean is my favorite car of all time. I have a whole shelf dedicated to DeLoreans right over there. Well, I went on eBay and I picked up this little replica set of the DeLorean car keys. This is probably the closest I'll ever get to actually owning a DeLorean. But yeah, I just have like a little replica set of the, the car keys right there. You can even kind of see right there. It has like Doc's name on it and the phone number. And yeah, this was just a pretty cool little thing on eBay. I forget how much it was. It was like maybe 10 or 15 bucks. Uh, definitely can't wait to open that up and get that on the shelf. Uh, speaking of DeLoreans, I also picked up the Back to the Future 3 Premium Hot Wheel with the version of the DeLorean that has the wheels exposed with no tires. So you can see that. Detailing on it is pretty good. I don't really care about this version of the car so much, but I had to get it to add to the collection. Anytime you put Back to the Future stuff out there, I'm pretty much guaranteed to buy it. Uh, and then I have some more Hot Wheels over here. So this is actually a really, really cool car. This is the Lucid Air. Some of you may not have heard of this car yet, but it's a really awesome electric car. And uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I love the way it looks. And it's just an awesome, awesome car. Uh, then I also picked up this Toyota uh, AE86. You can see right there. So that is pretty nice looking with the red and black. Yeah, right there. Then I picked up this uh, McLaren F1 just because I liked how it looked. It's simple, it's black, but you gotta love that. See that right there. And then I also picked up this, this was really cool, this uh, Barbie Extra. So I have like all of the Barbie Hot Wheels, like the Barbie Corvette, the Barbie Camper Van. So I had to get this one to add to the collection. And this is the Barbie Extra. I'm not, it's just like a sports car. Not really sure exactly what it is since I don't follow Barbie like that, but it's pretty cool. You got these like little Pegasus wings on the side and then like little star details all throughout. But yeah, I thought this was a cool little pickup. Uh, it doesn't really scream Barbie, like the Barbie Corvette and the Barbie camper van. Those are, you know, bright pink and this is just like a little bit of gray with like hits of pink on the bottom for the molded plastic. But other than that, yeah, there's not too much pink in here. You can see some pink on the seats, but that, that's about it. Um, other random stuff that I picked up is this Wheaties box, just simply because it had Michael Jordan on it, and why not? I think this was a special anniversary. Uh, yeah, it's the 100 years of Wheaties. Wow, Wheaties has been around for 100 years. That's actually pretty crazy. I just realized it says box number two, so hopefully there's not other variants of Michael Jordan, because then I'll have to go uh, hunt them down. But you can see... This right here, I'm gonna put this on the shelf with all of my Michael Jordan Pops, so that's gonna look pretty cool. And then I have another cereal box. This is the Fruity Pebbles Nike collab uh, with LeBron. Um, so I just picked this up because it, it was a Nike collab. It's a cool like little limited edition type of thing. So I figured why not? I'll probably throw this on the shelf with my uh, LeBron Space Jam Funko Pops. So that's pretty cool right there. This is like, a family size box so it is much bigger than your normal cereal box as you can see the height difference here so it is going to make displaying probably just a little bit more difficult but i'll figure it out and make it work uh, and then i picked this up this is an old figure for sure but it was on clearance at target for 2.99 so i definitely had to pick that up and it is the monsters at work uh tyler figure this is not the version with the electronics it's just a standard like whatever basic version um, and I actually really, really liked the Monsters at Work show on Disney Plus. So for $2.99, yeah, couldn't go wrong with that. And it works out because I also picked up this on clearance, which I might have showed off in a video already. Um, but this, I picked up this Monsters at Work deluxe set for 15 bucks. Uh, original price was 30 and it comes with like all the side characters, but it doesn't actually come with Tyler So this is perfect that I got both of them on clearance since he's not included with that set But the real reason I wanted this set is for the packaging. I just think the packaging is so cool You have like the whole monsters at work theme 
to it and then on the tight on the top over here you have uh, the little like rodent pet thing that they have with actual like tubing in the plastic so I don't know if you guys can really see there you go so you can see the tubing in there and he actually like will go through the tubing of the plastic so really this piece right here it's so simple but that's what sold me on this I just love that little detail there that you have them kind of going through the sewer pipes which is just an amazing little detail uh, keeping it with Pixar we have uh, the Pixar Features Favorites Bugs Life Flick and Dot. Now this is part of like the Pixar collector line. This is made by Mattel. Um, they also have uh, Mike and Sylvia as well as uh, Crush and Squirt I believe uh, from Finding Nemo. And I think there's one, oh here they all are right here actually. Uh, and I know there is a Ratatouille one as well. Uh, is alongside the inside out one but uh, out of all the ones I wanted to pick up I definitely had to get the flick and dot because Bugs Life is one of my favorite Pixar movies it's a pretty underrated movie and not a not a, a movie or a franchise that you see a ton of figures for uh, so yeah I definitely had to get this I love just all the accessories that it comes with and the little backdrop and everything so yeah really really happy about that not sure where I'm gonna put it because I'm kind of out of space on my Pixar shelf so I guess I'll be making another Pixar shelf soon enough uh, oh, also forgot to mention these with the Lightning Collection before. Got some more Lightning Collection figures. These are deluxe figures. So we have the Power Rangers in Space Blue Ranger TJ with his little uh, glider right there. So that is pretty cool. Uh, I would imagine they're going to make the rest of the In Space Rangers with their gliders as well. Um, I'm honestly not sure if I'm going to pick them all up because I already have the In Space Red Ranger and I think Yellow. Um, and that's from the Bandai line. But yeah, so I don't know, but I, I saw this one. I didn't have the Blue Ranger in my collection. I do have the Black Ranger also. Um, but yeah, I didn't have the Blue Ranger in my collection already, so I figured why not. Head sculpt looking amazing, and you do have the included glider, which is very, very nice. So yeah, happy to add that to the collection. And another Power Rangers Lightning Collection piece, we have the Mighty Morphin Perantis head. This is from the Mighty Morphin series, obviously, and this is one of the villains. I am happy anytime we get villains in this line, so yeah the paint on here the colors that they chose and everything just looks really really nice so yeah really happy to add the parantis parantis head to my collection uh so yeah big fan of that next up next up where do i go um so like i said in the beginning of this video i'm literally like in the middle of organizing or like de-organizing the room i guess taking it apart whatever the case may be but i started opening up some funko pops that i picked up so some of these are in the package some of them are not but i have quite a bit of funko pops over here so we have uh this is not a new funko pop but it is new to me and that is the back to the future marty mcfly hot topic exclusive this is from the third movie where he's dressed as a cowboy as you can see so very, very happy to pick that up. It's a great looking pop. And then we have the Pokemon Alakazam. Not too much to say about that, but another great looking pop right there. He's obviously out of the package as well. Uh, now this one's not out of the package and that is the, um, the Eastman and Layers Ninja Turtles comic version. Uh, this is Raphael right here. So in the comics, I'm sure all of you know this, but all of the turtles originally were wearing red headbands it wasn't until the cartoon that they got the colored headbands because they figured that it would be easier for kids to differentiate the turtles if they all had individual colors but in the comics they all wore red i only picked up Raphael right here because uh, i got him for a pretty cheap price but those are the other ones there i just love all the like the shading on here to make it look like it jumped out of the comic so i'll definitely have to pick up the rest of the turtles at some point in time and then uh, these two actually go together and then I'll show off this one as well. So another Pokemon pop, we got Pidgeotto right here. I'm still missing, I wanna say maybe like two or three of the Pokemon pops, but I have a majority of them. Now these two go together. I got these uh, on clearance at Target for $5.99 each. And that is Loki from the Loki Disney Plus TV series. Very nice right there. Uh, main reason I got him, other than him being on clearance, but when I had my hair grown out, I actually kind of looked like him a little bit, so I got it for really that reason, um, but also because it was on clearance, and anytime I see Pops on clearance, if they even have a slightly cool design, I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, like with this one, we have um, uh, Ravana, I believe her name was, but I got it really for that little Miss Minutes that's included with her. I just thought they look pretty nice, so can't go wrong with that. And then here are the other ones from that line. Um, 
All right, all right. Still, still got quite a bit of stuff. So, uh, we have. Oh man, I actually forgot I even picked this up. Wow. Uh, so we have the uh, NECA Ninja Turtles. This is the cartoon line, and we have Anthrax and Scumbug and. Man, these look incredible. I'm just like, I, I bought this and haven't even, I like I said, I forgot that I have it. And just looking at it now, I'm really, really impressed. These might be two of my favorite ones that NECA has made. And it's just like the colors on here are so bright and vibrant. I know it's kind of hard with the glare and everything to see that. But man, these are two really incredible looking figures and they're gonna really pop on the shelf. Maybe you can get a better view right here of the colors and everything with how it looks but man yeah these these guys are incredible so it's actually a little ironic and i'm gonna go into a little bit of a story time really quickly but it's ironic that i actually had to start taking this room apart because over the last couple days like all these figures behind me have stood up perfectly on their own for months now and like ironically in the last week i've just had figures falling over left and right like i don't know if you guys can tell my back to the future shelf up here i got figures knocked down uh, the turtle shelf, I think that's right there. No, it's right behind me. I got a bunch of figures all falling over and knocked over. Avatar, I got figures falling over and knocked over. So it's actually kind of funny that all these figures are falling over at a time that I need to redo the room anyways. So I'm not even gonna bother picking them up until after the windows have been done. Anyways, a little sidetrack over there, but keeping in the theme with Ninja Turtles and NECA, I also picked up the Casey Jones and April O'Neil. I think this is like the what is the official name for this like the cabin uh farmhouse the farmhouse here we go so this is that scene in the movie where they went to the farmhouse they're not too terribly different uh from the april and casey we've gotten already but casey is finally unmasked so that's new to the set and april does have a little bit of a different outfit so yeah i can't really go wrong there i think the only difference with casey is he's not wearing his vest obviously he doesn't come with a slew of weapons but obviously he is not wearing the mask so that is pretty nice but you can see all the amazing product shots right there on the back so really happy to have this in the collection not as excited as i was for this cartoon set that like i said man these are just some incredible looking figures um but because these weren't too different from what we gotten already i'm not like overly excited but it is nice that we are getting some more movie figures because that line is lacking a little bit in the figure section compared to the cartoon line all right so i'm running out of breath but we are hitting the home stretch right here so next up i picked this up on clearance at target as well um i don't remember how much it was it might have been five bucks maybe five to somewhere between five to ten dollars and that is the fast and the furious funko board game i have no intentions of playing this to be honest with you guys i just picked it up because it's fast and the furious and you guys know that i love my fast and the furious cars that are all behind me and um, I just figured I'd get this as just like a backdrop to put on the shelf or something. Um, but I'm not a big fan of these Funko strategy games. They are kind of boring and a little bit of hard to understand. And I have a bunch of them and I really just get them like for the artwork. So I have two of them on my Back to the Future shelf. I might have a couple somewhere else. And now I have this Fast and the Furious one. Funko makes some great like themed games the artwork on the games and everything like that but the games themselves are all these weird strategy games that maybe it's just me and i don't understand how to play it but i don't know it is what it is anyways moving on to the last little bit of stuff i'm just looking around to make sure i got everything and i believe that i did the last little bit of stuff here is the stuff i'm probably most excited for is new avatar figures because you guys know that i love avatar last airbender so anytime we can get some new avatar figures i am happy and this is uncle iroh now this one is specifically made by mcfarland toys and there is such a glare but hopefully you guys can kind of the glare on this one's pretty bad but hopefully you guys can see that it's this really awesome bulky uncle iroh which i'm very excited for now these here are done by the loyal subjects these are part of their best action figure line or the bsc axn line and we have zuko right here with uh, his short hair and his long hair which i'm really happy about uh, I, I just love that we're getting all these options here you can see all his weapons and whatnot all the interchangeable hands ton of accessories that come with this there's a closer look at all the accessories but yeah very very excited about this uh and then we also have katara and this is uh in her like um i guess like her warrior outfit when she got her little like sleeves and everything like that but you can see she comes with like the water pouch and her water effects and one like serious angry head and one happy head and then a bunch of interchangeable hands there's a ton of options with these guys really really big fan 
of all of that. Maybe that'll be better. There you go. And then last but not least, the final thing is going to be Aang from season three. This is his season three outfit right here. And I have a couple versions of this Aang already, but I am happy anytime I get a Loyal Subjects best action version because you just get so, so many cool accessories, alternate head sculpts, just so many things that you don't get with the other one. So I am very, very happy about this one, even though I have other versions of this one already, but you can see what that all looks like right back there. And that is going to do it. This might be like my longest haul video ever. Uh, I know this is like 20 minutes, so hopefully you guys stuck around to the end. If you did, I appreciate you guys, but that's going to do it for me. I really have to get to like working on this room and before I even start editing this video, like I need to cut this video now and, and really go hard in this room right now because they are coming in two days uh, to do these windows and I need to get everything covered up to minimize the amount of dust it gets on all my stuff so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram that link's in the description down below and i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time